boy in critical condition after being hit in a crosswalk on his way to school. We are trusting God. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. It was a usual morning when a young boy woke up and dressed for school. After saying goodbye to his family, he took his bike and was excited to meet his teachers and classmates when a heart-wrenching incident turned everything upside down. Angela and Matt Feith lived in Wichita, Kansas with their beautiful family. They were parents to six lovely children who were the center of their universe. There was never a dull day in the Feith household and they lived each moment to the fullest. The couple's life was picture perfect and they never missed a chance to cherish their happy family. Angela often shared heartwarming glimpses from her family life online where she and Matt were seen having a spectacular time with their kids and loved ones. The Veeths The Veeths hoped to ring in every new day together as a family, utterly oblivious to what fate had in store for them. On the morning of Tuesday, September 202022, one of their sons, Nathan Veith, woke up, ready to leave for school, greet his teachers, and have a wonderful time with his friends. The community members shared that they wished to see more buses for children, a stoplight, and crossing guards. Nathan studied in fifth grade at Street Francis of Assisi Catholic School, where he was liked by students and teachers alike. As the youngster delightfully got dressed and said goodbye to his parents, nobody could have guessed what the next couple of minutes would bring. An unfortunate incident. While riding his bike to school, the Veeths said their beloved boy was hit in a crosswalk by a car traveling east. According to Lieutenant Joseph Kennedy, the incident occurred at about 7.40 a.m. on Tuesday in Central between Tyler and Ridge Roads. Angela noted that the driver who hit her son didn't see him or the red light. Resultantly, she said her boy suffered severe injuries to his head and is currently in the ICU in critical but stable condition. An eyewitness, Jack Farmer, said he was on the scene when the accident occurred. He said he hurried out of his car and ran over to help the boy, alongside a nurse who called 911. Shortly afterward, Nathan was rushed to the nearest hospital. A Neighbor's Opinion Farmer said he hoped the youngster was all right and was praying for his speedy recovery. According to the Wichita Police Department, the driver whose Ford Fusion hit Nathan's bike was in his 40s and appeared unharmed during the accident. A neighbor, who didn't wish to share their identity publicly, believed the sunlight could have played a part in the unfortunate incident. They opined. My thought was, the sun was in their eyes, you can't see that well. It's just coming up in the morning. But nonetheless, a little boy got hurt. Hopefully he makes it. A Mother's Thoughts Several neighbors voiced their concerns about how unsafe the intersection could be. Amanda Hageman, a mother of five, said she wanted her children to travel to school in a bus due to the busy crosswalk, but the school told her it wasn't possible as she lived nearby. Hageman stated that while she could drive her five children to school, she felt for the parents who couldn't do so. She also said, The reality of it is we have to send our kids to school when we aren't able to take them, hoping to God that people are paying attention to the roads that our babies are on. Another neighbor, Robert Patalis, said he and his wife moved to the area in 2015 and took regular walks. But after an instance when a car nearly hit his wife and his dog, he and his family refrained from crossing the Central. Keeping his brother company The community members shared that they wished to see more buses for children, 
a stoplight, and crossing guards. On Thursday, September 2-2, Angela shared a touching post on Facebook with a picture of her beloved son holding a dinosaur. Matt said Nathan's little brother brought his own stuffed dinosaur to keep him company while he recovered in the hospital. He and Angela also thanked the doctors, nurses, and community members for their help, love, and support. A meal train has been created for anyone who wishes to help the Veeths. As of September 2-3, over 10,400 have been raised, surpassing the $1,000 goal. Trusting God Angela extended heartfelt gratitude to everyone who helped her family financially and emotionally during their difficult time. She also urged people to remember her 11-year-old boy and pray for his quick recovery. The mother also wrote, We are trusting in God to see us through these difficult times. We are trusting in God that Nate will heal from this. We are trusting God. Messages of Support Many netizens shared supportive and touching messages for Nathan online, prayers for this family and Nathan to regain healing. May God lay his healing hands on Nathan, sending prayers of strength to all of you. Praying for a miracle.